Unit 4, Lesson 2, Meanings of Division. Number 1. 20 pounds of strawberries are being shared equally by a group of friends. The equation 20 divided by 5 equals 4 represents the division of strawberries. A. If the 5 represents the number of people, what does the 4 represent? Here I've drawn 5 stick figures representing the 5 friends who are sharing the strawberries. The 4 would represent 4 pounds of strawberries. Each of the friends gets 4 pounds of strawberries. B. If the 5 represents the pounds of strawberries per person, what does the 4 represent? Here you see 5 pounds of strawberries in 4 different groups. If the 5 represents the pounds of strawberries, then the 4 represents the number of people in the group that are sharing the strawberries. Number 2. A 6th grade science club needs $180 to pay for the tickets to a science museum. All tickets cost the same amount. What could 180 divided by 15 mean in this context? Describe two interpretations of the expression, then find the quotient and explain what it means in each interpretation. One interpretation of the expression could be, how many tickets can be purchased with $180 if each ticket costs $15? And the quotient would be 12. You could purchase 12 tickets at $15 each with $180. A second interpretation could be, how much does each ticket cost if $180 buys 15 tickets? The quotient or answer to that expression is $12. You could buy 15 tickets at $12 per ticket with $180. Number 3. Write a multiplication equation that corresponds to each division equation. A. 10 divided by 5 equals what number? A corresponding multiplication equation would be what number times 5 equals 10? B. 4 and 5 tenths divided by 3 equals what number? A corresponding multiplication equation would be what number times 3 equals 4 and 5 tenths? C. 1 half divided by 4 equals what number? A corresponding multiplication equation would be one half of what number equals four? Number four. Write a division or multiplication equation that represents each situation. Use a question mark for the unknown quantity. A. Two and five tenths gallons of water are poured into five equally sized bottles. How much water is in each bottle? 2 and 5 tenths divided by 5 equals what number? Or 5 times what number equals 2 and 5 tenths? B. A large bucket of 200 golf balls is divided into four smaller buckets. How many golf balls are in each small bucket? 200 divided by 4 equals what number? Or 4 times what number equals 200? C. 16 socks are put into pairs. How many pairs are there? Reminder, a pair is 2. 16 divided by 2 equals what number? Or, what number times 2 equals 16? Number 5. Find a value for A that makes each statement true. A. A divided by 6 is greater than 1. The value for A must be greater than 6. For example, A equals 7. B. A divided by 6 is equal to 1. A equals 6, because 6 divided by 6 equals 1. C. A divided by 6 is less than 1. Any positive number, A less than 6. So A can be any positive number less than 6. For example, A equals 5. D. A divided by 6 is equal to a whole number. A must be a multiple of 6, like 6, 12, or 18. Example, A equals 24. Number 6. Complete the table. Write each percentage as a percent of 1. 1 tenth can be written as 1 over 10, and is 10% of 1. 
75% can be written as three-fourths or three-quarters and is 75 hundredths. One-fifth or one divided by five is two-tenths or 20 hundredths, which is 20% of one. One and five-tenths can be written as 15 tenths or three-halves, which is 150% of one. 140% of 1 could be written as 140 over 100, or 14 tenths, which is equal to 7 fifths. And when written as a decimal, it's 1 and 4 tenths. Take a moment to compare your table with my table. Number 7. Jada walks a speed of 3 miles per hour. Elena walks at a speed of 2 and 8 tenths miles per hour. If they both begin walking along a walking trail at the same time, how much farther will Jada walk after 3 hours? Explain your reasoning. This blue line will represent the distances that Jada walked each hour. This green line will represent the distances that Elena walked each hour. And this red line will represent each of the 3 hours. Zero hours, one hour, two hour, three hours. Since Elena walks at a speed of two and eight tenths miles per hour, we will count by two and eight tenths. Zero, two and eight tenths, five and six tenths, eight and four tenths. Since Jada walks at a speed of three miles an hour, we'll count by three. Zero, three, six, nine. After three hours, Jada walked nine miles and Elena walked eight and four tenths miles. Nine miles minus eight and four tenths miles equals six tenths of a mile. After three hours, Jada walked six tenths of a mile further than Elena. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 4, Lesson 2, Meanings of Division.